Hey everybody, it's Luke Duke 2488 and since I sold the Power Stroke, I actually updated to a 2008 Ford F-150 King Ranch. It's got the 5.4 3 valve V8 in it. Uh, got an intake on it. Plan on doing a throttle body spacer and whatnot, but as you can see, got a battery tender on my truck. Well, last night I had my truck die right as soon as I was getting through an intersection. Um, turns out, lost all fuel pressure. So, actually, after doing some research, looking on forums and whatnot, found out that it wasn't a fuel pump issue. It was actually, it's called a fuel pump driver module. And this is actually what it looks like. Um, 100 bucks, or it was like 109 after tax from O'Reilly Auto Parts. This is my old one. And as you can see, it's an aluminum backing. And if you ever live anywhere where there's salt or anything, and if this casing actually breaks or the seal gets bad between the casing and the plastic cover, yeah, you're gonna have problems. So I bought a new one. And I actually just quickly plugged it in to see if it was uh, correct or not. If that was really a problem. And sure as shit, she fired right up. So here's the plug that it goes into. Um, it actually mounts right here on the face. See all the salt and whatnot. Make sure you clean that off. I actually just got done testing it if that was the issue or not. But. <clears throat> this is actually the issue uh, Like I said typically a corrodes actually sits flush with this piece of your bump the bracing within your frame actually And the salt and whatnot if you have salt where you live, it'll get in there. And it'll actually corrode it so bad. So Like I said, I unplugged it. I put the new one on truck fired right up um, Didn't have any issues whatsoever. It just literally died on me um so before you start thinking it's your fuel pump and if you have to get it towed back don't freak out do your research check out my, my video I'm making right now and it might actually save you a couple hundred bucks uh like i said that module is uh, 105 in O'Reilly auto parts i can get you guys a part number for you real quick this is a Dorman model sealed fuel pump driver module, 590001. Uh, like I said, a third time, $105, 109 after tax in Wisconsin here. So I uh, hope this video helps you a little bit before you start diving in and putting in a fuel pump and whatnot. Uh, I did trace back and actually took out my fuse for the pump itself, the relay itself would not actuate with that being wrong. Uh, if you go on the passenger side right here, this is where it's located in here. Uh, fuse number is F09, so it's fuse nine in here. And then the relay itself will be, I wanna say it's R303, so it's fuse, or it's relay three, and it's gonna be mounted top right for the relay. Uh, the cover itself should show you uh, exactly where they're all located. So. Uh, you do have to drop your spare tire, so I grabbed my spare tire kit. Make sure you got that loosened up for your key. Mine's kind of corroded and rusty, as you can see. It's pretty gnarly. Um, yeah, you take your main key, you start your truck with, take that out. Just pops right out, pulls out, and then there's a tube section. Uh, I can't really see it in there. It's kind of like a funnel. Make sure you use skinny part of your uh, toolkit for changing your spare tire. Go lock right in, crank it down, lefty loose, you're already tidy obviously. Spare tire will drop down and, and you're off to the races. Uh, the two bolts that hold it on are eight millimeter for that driver module. Uh, I recommend soaking them in a little PB blaster if you got corrosion around where you live obviously. And then you should actually be able to take it right off, put the new one on. Uh, the new kit comes with, let me crawl under here again, comes with 
these bolts uh, the bushings actually I think it's to prevent corrosion and whatnot from happening again um, comes with another secondary kit these are like studs backers and whatnot go right in little holes and you put these on and it should keep from uh, rusting really bad against metal and steel and then the aluminum backing together obviously causes corrosion so all in all pretty easy fix if you got a hundred bucks laying around and you don't want to do a fuel pump I would highly recommend changing that driver module before you do anything so when in doubt do your research look on forums do what you need to do figure out troubleshoot it and hopefully you don't have to do a three or four hundred dollar pump on your truck so i hope this uh video helps this is gonna it's gonna be it for tonight i'm good to go um it's kind of cold out here sorry if i'm heavy breathing but uh yeah so this is my 2008 f-150 king ranch wish it was on better terms um to introduce this new truck to my channel but <laughs> you know timing's right and you gotta do what you gotta do i guess so all right this has been it blue tuke 2488 signing out